I'm going to demonstrate how to load layout files onto a TouchOSC application on an iPad or iPod. To begin with, I've used ROS Launch to start the layout path launch file located in the ROS OSC tutorials. Now I'm going to go over to my iPad and I'm going to start the TouchOSC application. Once the application starts, I'm going to click Layout, Add, and you'll see that two layout servers have started on the computer one for the iPad and one for the iPod. I'm going to select iPad because I'm on the iPad. You can see that the layout is already checked and then we're ready to begin playing. Once the application is started you can see that there's multiple different kinds of controls including push buttons, toggle buttons, multi-push, multi-toggle, faders, an XY pad, and rotary knobs. These are all sorts of different controls that are available in TouchOSC. This is going to demonstrate using simple publishers and subscribers with TouchOSC Bridge. Now on my computer, I've started the publisher and subscriber tutorial launch file that is included. On the iPad, I'm going to add the layout. As you can see, for this example, I'm going to use slider iPod. Yes, I want to overwrite my current layout. Now, under options, I'm going to make sure that the accelerometer is enabled, which is necessary for this tutorial. Under connections, OSC, I'm going to click on that. You can see that the ROS OSC server appears. It'll automatically populate the host and the port based on the Bonjour service that's running. So now that everything's set up, we're ready to start. So what we see here is the iPad already loaded with the sliders layout. And what's happening is the accelerometer data is being published on a ROS topic that I'm subscribing to, pulling the x-axis out, putting the most 50, 50 most recent readings into a circular buffer, and then publishing them back to the iPad screen. So here you can see a multi-fader with the 50 most recent readings. And as we move the iPad, the sliders move accordingly. 